Hi guys, Toby here for TP23 Productions. Now, uh, I've got a film review, and this time around I'm reviewing a film called Olympus Has Fallen. Now, Olympus Has Fallen, pretty recent film, came out last year, came out in March of 2013. The main stars of Olympus Has Fallen include Gerald Butler, Aaron Eckhart, Morgan Freeman, Cole Hauser, Dylan McDermott, and Rick Yun. Now, before I get too much into the uh, review, Olympus Has Fallen is pretty much code for White House Down, literally. Um, Olympus, I guess, is some sort of code for the White House. It is established early on in the film that Olympus is the White House, and obviously when it's down, it you know, goes into a sentence of Olympus has fallen. This is even quoted as the film progresses, as uh, the White House is under attack. The saying of Olympus has fallen is mentioned, and throughout the whole film, Olympus Has Fallen has been mentioned um, on a regular basis. So, straight away, Olympus Has Fallen pretty much means White House Down. In the year of 2013, which was only last year, Olympus Has Fallen and White House Down, two films, were released in the same year. And both the films are films, really, of uh, an attack on the White House. I found it a bit strange that there would be two films released in the same year, uh, both with the same story. Both films have an attack on the White House. Bit strange, but hey ho. The film is centred around Aaron Eckhart, who is the President of the United States. The film follows a character called Mike Banning, and Mike Banning is played by Gerald Butler. Now, Gerald Butler is a former US Army Ranger and a uh, former Special Service member, and this uh, Mike Banning who's Gerald Butler, at the start of the film we discover that he he was uh, friends with the president, he was part of his uh, security team, and uh, the president and his security team were involved in a snowy accident 18 months before the story was set of how the president's wife was um, unfortunately killed, in a way. There was a car convoy going from Camp David to a section of uh, I don't know, a party that the president was going to. An accident happened in the snow, car spun out of uh, control and uh, was teetering on a bridge. Gerald Butler, Mike Banning, managed to get out the president who's played by Aaron Eckhart. He manages to get him out of the car however he cannot save uh, the president's wife in time. This meant the car went over the edge, over the edge of uh, the bridge fell into the icy river below and uh, the president's wife died. Not really a spoiler, it happens within like the first five minutes, it's literally the first thing we see. So it's not really a spoiler, that's the only part of the film that she uh, takes part in really. The story then jumps about 18 months into the future. We see uh, Gerald Butler is no longer part of the president's security team. Gerald Butler is now uh, a security desk man, really. General Butler is no longer the right hand man to the president. So, after the incident of what happened with the president's wife, General Butler, like I mentioned, is at a desk job for the Treasury Department. Treasury Department is in Washington DC, the state of where the White House is. The story continues with the South Korean Prime Minister visiting Washington and visiting the White House. Now, this is where the South Korean Prime Minister has his own security team Fair enough, you're bound to. This is the point of where a member of his security team, he's a bit of a terrorist, really. He's uh, got into the White House as a member of uh, the South Korean Prime Minister's security team and uh, he's a bit of a bad guy. And that's pl played by Rick Yun. This is where the attack and the action and the fun starts, really, in... Uh, Olympus has fallen. You're about 10-15 minutes into the film and this is where the action gets going. Which is good, you know, it's uh, it's an all round action film. I don't want to give too much of it away simply because, you know, the, the attack on the White House is very fun, it's interesting. Um, it is different simply because I don't think I've ever seen a film where the White House has been attacked by terrorists. So being shot at and uh, suicide bombers, there's a big I don't know what sort of plane it is, but it's a massive plane that's flying over and that's attacking the, the White House. And uh, it's pretty fun to watch, really. Uh, I'm not very patriotic to America. I'm patriotic to uh, England and all that. I think 
if you were an American watching this film, then you would um, be more affected by it, simply because it is a uh, significant building in your country. As a, an outsider, as an Englishman watching this film, it was it was good to see. I didn't take it too seriously, simply because it, you know it's obviously not going to happen anytime soon. But yeah, really, uh, the attack on the White House was uh, pretty interesting to see. Um, there are some bad points uh, with the good action of the film. The bad points include uh, a twist, which I didn't see coming really. Um, I think if the character that the twist evolved around was more significant at the start of the film, then I think it would have been more of a shocking moment of a twist, rather than just a, oh look at that sort of thing. Another negative side that I saw about the attack on the White House was the amount of uh, good guys security team that were coming through literally the front door of the White House who were just getting mowed down, they were getting shot and killed and it was just like, are these guys stupid, are they deaf, are they not understanding that there's a uh, big gun shooting at you and they just kept coming out and getting slaughtered and it's like, I mean it's not really a spoiler, it happens for like 10 seconds but it's just like, are you stupid, you know, one of your buddies in front of you got shot why are you still running through the door? Uh, that was a bit of a negative side. Another negative side that I saw um, during the film was that Gerald Butler, who was a part of the president's security team 18 months ago, somehow still had security access and clearance to um, everything that the president would have access to. So at one point there's a safe and he's, he's got the combination and he opens a safe. How can you still get into a safe 18 months after the president has taken you off his security team? Which I couldn't quite understand. Surely they will have changed the combination. There's another point where he uses his thumb um, as an identification on a computer. Now why would you still have your thumbprint on a computer and still gain access to whatever was on the computer? And it's like that's a bit silly and far-fetched and um, that's the security hazard at it itself. All that aside, um, the cast isn't too bad. Gerald Butler, I don't know how old he is, he must be going on nearly 50. And uh, the guy was kicking some ass, which is good to see. Um, you know, you don't want a main guy who the camera follows for every bit of the film. You don't want him uh, not winning fights, which, you know, Gerald Butler managed to do. So fair play to him. Aaron Eckhart, he was an alright president. Rick Young as uh, the main bad guy, he didn't do too bad a job, he carried out his mission pretty well, he was a convincing bad guy and uh, every film I've seen him in, which hasn't been many, he has always been the bad guy. It's not too bad, Olympus Has Fallen has not got a great review score, um, I do want to watch White House Down. I shall try and watch it as soon as I can. Do a review of it. The Olympus is falling at the minute. I haven't got anything to compare it to. But it's not too bad. There is um, a big gun battle at the start of the film. There's the odd twist of one main character. Gerald Butler's pretty convincing, really. I mean, he is knocking on a bit. But he was pretty convincing as a kick-ass special forces man. There is meant to be a sequel to uh, Olympus Has Fallen. That's meant to start filming this year and that sequel's called London Has Fallen. Whether that be any good, I think I might be a bit more um, affected by it simply because it is England, it's London. Um, as an Englishman watching uh, Olympus Has Fallen, I wasn't hugely uh, affected by it, I must say, simply because it was the White House. I mean, I like the White House, but um, I think I was, if I was American and watching it, and I think it would be more to the heart affecting but uh, it had action in it, gunfights, fighting, there was the odd twist, the odd turn, Morgan Freeman was pretty cool in it, Aaron Eckhart played uh, alright president, but oh, really Olympus has fallen, it's not too bad of a film, if you like it, any of the guys that I've mentioned uh, then the film's obviously uh, a must see for you, but yeah Olympus has fallen, it's not too bad, bit of an action film aimed about a terrorist attack on uh, the White House. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching my review of uh, Olympus Has Fallen. Hope you like it. If you like uh, The White House, Gerald Butler, Morgan Freeman, Aaron Eckhart, Rick Young, and uh, a theme of a uh, terrorist attack that is aimed at the White House for uh, the sole purpose of nuclear weapons and uh, 
to get American troops out of South Korea, then uh, I'm pretty sure this is the film for you, really. But thanks for watching my review of Olympus Fallen. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, we the devoted are wearing all the gear every video. They're awesome. Check them out, guys. Links down below. Use Toby WTD, gets you 20% off any We the Devoted gear. Links down below. But thanks for watching my review of Olympus Fallen.